Hello, one and all, to whatever the fuck this is. I'm not really sure what it is. Uh, it's gonna be a QA. I've got a lot of people that ask me questions. Recently hit 666 subscribers. So, let's just get to it. Alright, so let's start with. Let's start with uh, the Monster King. I'm sorry if I you hear like pencil to paper because I wrote down all these names. Uh, Monster King asks, why does it hurt when I pee? I don't know. See a doctor. Uh, next question comes to us from Jack of all trades. Uh, these are actually three questions. Uh, the first question is, is there any obscure media franchise you want to see for Death Battle? Uh, not particularly. Um, I'm pretty, you know, open about what I want to see, and not a whole lot of them are obscure, at least not to, like, the circle that I'm in. Like, I'm not, like, like a huge weeb or anything, so I'm not, like, ooh, put obscure anime character and do it like I'm, I'm just not like that <laughs> uh, yeah so really the answer is I don't have any obscure media or franchise <laughs> and I'm trying to think of the most obscure thing I like and really I can't think of anything <laughs> uh, second question how do you decide on what monthly battle track you do? I, um, I don't, I have a, uh, a list currently of just, like, matchups that I'm interested in. And right now I'm just kind of going down that list and picking them off one by one. So I just use that list as, like, a gateway into what I want on the matchup I want to do. I'm sorry if I burp. I'm drinking soda right now. A third question asked, uh, do you like pizza? Yes. I just had it for lunch. There's actually... Alright. It's for lunch. Oh, let's see. Uh, question from Strange Fate. You know this guy on Discord. So that's, that's three questions for me. Uh, what got you into music? First question. Uh, it was my dad, actually. Back when I was like four or whatever. Uh, my dad has always been a musician. So like, I grew up in that kind of household for a while. And uh, he just kind of let me do whatever I wanted. <laughs> like experiment with stuff and I was just kind of like yeah yeah this is it this is and around high school I started realizing that I could like start like writing music instead of just like learning how to play producing songs yeah my dad was really cool about that too so like originally it was my dad and then my brother joined high school band uh, like marching band and that also made me want to pursue music even more. And then, uh, so yeah, yeah, the short answer is my dad. Uh, second question, favorite, least favorite death battle. Uh, my favorite right now is Johnny Cage or Captain Falcon still, I think. I don't think it's been dethroned quite yet. And also I have a personal connection that I don't really want to talk about with it. And my least favorite. Oh jeez. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a boring answer, but probably probably just Bieber versus Rebecca Black. <laughs> like you just go back and like that one like most of season one is cringe, but that's just like amplified because it's like peak twenty ten internet. 
which is not a very good thing. And then the third question, best person on the girl, sue me, sue me. Yeah, it's time. Royal made sue me my favorite. Next up, we get a question from Learbag15. They ask, uh, here's a question. Do you tailor the music for specific choreographies that happen in your head? Or do you simply make a song that fits the characters? Uh, so this is an interesting question, because I do a little bit of both. Like, um... Nowadays, I lean more towards the latter. Like just making a song that fits both the characters. But if I do have, like, a specific, like, set piece in my mind that I think would happen with the characters, then yeah. Like, for, um, the example that comes to my mind the most is in, uh, Okuyasu vs. Kubara. I have a, like, kind of weird, kind of, like, ethereal kind of section in it. And that was a, a way to, like, because in my mind, it's like, okay, here's the thing, here's how it's going to happen, and here's how I want it to be represented in the music, and that's what I did. So, yeah, 90% like of the time, I do the latter, but I do both, technically. Uh, Next up, you got a question. Oh my god, my pencil broke. Got a question from Pokemon Trainer Oswaldo. Uh, how difficult was the learning curve to be able to make these scores? That's the first question. Uh, it wasn't too difficult for me, solely because I had experience in writing music beforehand. And honestly, this is just kind of a. Uh, like a side thing that I wanted to challenge myself with. Because as a composer, you like basically having to represent two different series at the same time is very like hard. <laughs> and it's very uh, challenging, but also very rewarding. And I, uh, I just wanted to take that challenge. So. I uh, booted up Finale one day and I was like, okay, let's get started. And that was about a, a week before I actually released Golden Fool. So. But it's definitely been the biggest curve difficult for me has been mixing. I'm still, I don't think I'm still like very good at it. And I'm learning every single time I do a new track, I'm learning something new. But. To start, the, the writing was never the problem. It was just like the more technical aspects of it that kind of made it hard to do that I'm still working on to this day. Like practice never ends really. It's, it's true. <laughs> and then the second question, favorite Jojo and Jofo. My favorite Jojo is Jorno. My favorite Jofo is Kira. Next up, we got a question from Hades. Uh, it's my favorite Ben versus Hell quote. I think, honestly, <laughs> yeah, this is, a, this is a, an exchange I really like. Was like, hey, want to see a super? <laughs> Ever seen a supernova? Several, actually. <laughs> Just makes me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just make me laugh. It's really funny. Uh, my favorite protagonist in the antagonist. Favorite protagonist. Uh, well, I have to go with my favorite character of all time. Or favorite fictional character of all time. Which would be uh, Joker from Persona 5. And my favorite antagonist is honestly probably uh, uh, Frollo from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> 
which sounds weird because like nobody knows this about me, but I fucking love The Hunchback of Notre Dame, <laughs> the, the movie and the musical that never went to Broadway. And then the last question they asked, uh, what score would you really want to do, but can't, I would say, any, like, pre-existing <laughs> death hell that happened that already has a score that I would want to do. Like, I can't do Sora vs. Pit because it already happened. So, kind of boring answer, but it's true. Alright, next question from the Zippity's app. Uh, what fight you scored would you want to see become a death battle the most, and which score you've made would you want to see in a death battle? I think this is kind of like the same question, so I'm going to give the same answer. But really, the one I think fits like, the death battle format the most is Cold and Fool. So I'd really love to see that transformed into, I think, a uh, spread animation kind of thing. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty safe answer, but it's true. Okay, next a question from Nirio Tabayo Young. Uh, what's the process like in making one of your tracks? I made a video about this a while ago, before I rebranded. So the process it's kind of changed a little bit, but not too much. So we'll still go through and do like research on both characters if I don't know them. Uh, this more so applies to like commission stuff because usually I don't know the characters too well in commissions. And honestly, usually people just pinpoint specific songs in the character's OST that they want me to represent. So I'll do that, and then I'll get to work on like the broad strokes of what I want the song to sound like, like what kind of genre do I want it to be, what kind of, usually not this, but what kind of key do I want it, what kind of uh, tempo do I want it, and then I'll just kind of make a, I call it like a rough sketch, but like an outline of the song in the, uh, in the music software I use, and then when that's done I'll just go in and add a bunch more like polish to it afterwards. I'm just gonna check if Audacity's still recording this. Okay, good. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's the basic process. And then I have a bunch of effects I put on stuff to make it sound nice and pretty. Nobody cares about that. Nobody cares about my <laughs> my master of the chain. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. This next question comes from Saffiest Crowd 5. I hope you said that first word right. Uh, so these are four questions actually. Okay. Uh, first, do you think more obscure properties could get with that? I don't know. Sure. I don't see any reason why they couldn't. Uh, if Lucy can get in, I think a lot of other people can get in. Uh, what are your thoughts on doing another DM Ranks? Enjoy to see another bonus and thoughts. I don't want to do another. I actually am working on another one, and it's gonna take me a fucking while because it's it's a uh, there are 18 entries in it this time, and I really just need to like buckle down, like script a whole bunch of shit. But just one of the entries was like an entire like page in the Google Doc, and that's just one. Actually, it was more like a page and a half. So yeah, it's gonna take a while, it's gonna be a fucking long video. But I am working on one. There are 18 entries, and <laughs> I'm not sure if I should reveal what it's about quite yet, but I am working on another one. Uh, any obscure DVD score ideas? Uh, usually there's an obscure idea. I'll usually do it uh, in my mind that or I'll pitch it to my uh, the indie version so I'm a part of and usually the people there will be cool about doing that kind of stuff but the idea that I want to do a lot like now 
that's pretty obscure and I love both characters is actually a Toph versus Daredevil. That's an idea I've really come to love. And I want to... Yeah, I just want to do that. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Wonder Pets versus... I assume that means versus... They wrote B, but I assume that means versus... Uh, team Umizumi. I don't know either of them. I'm not the person you should be asking this question to. I'm just going to be brutally honest. <laughs> okay. Next up. Question from Chillax Z. This guy's a patron. Uh, pretty cool dude. P pretty cool dude. <laughs> uh, four questions, again. Uh, do you have any goals or projects you're working towards that aren't unrelated to Versus Course? Or that are unrelated to Versus Course? Yes. Uh... I have, my goal is to <laughs> finish this song that I've been working on uh, currently. That's only nine minutes long, and it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. But that's my current goal, my big picture goal, is trying to finish this album I've been working on since I was 16. <laughs> that I need to just buckle down and do. Oh, what hobbies do you have outside of music? I actually kind of draw a little bit. I'm not very good, but I do draw quite a bit, and I'll doodle. Usually I only draw, like, track and block characters, but it's better than nothing. How do you find the time and motivation to make content? I take a lot of frequent breaks from making content. So I don't just buckle down and do like 12 hours of work at a time because that's not very healthy. I'll make sure like, okay, here's what I want to do, here's how I'm going to do it, and when it's done, it's done. Like, if I'm experienced in burnout, like I know how to, I know how to sense it and I can like immediately stop and go do something else. And usually when I do, I just go to, um, I just play like a game or something like that. So yeah, just, just taking breaks helps a lot. And for the question, how can I learn to stop worrying and love the bomb? I wish I knew, but I never saw that movie. <laughs> Alright, next question comes from my boy Roxas. Okay, uh, two questions. Basically the same question, but for two series. Favorite Kingdom Hearts track and boss battle? Favorite Persona track and boss battle? Okay, Kingdom Hearts track. That is a fucking tough question. I need to look it up to make sure I'm... I have the right... Yeah. So my favorite <laughs> track and boss battle kind of go in and in for Kingdom Hearts because my favorite, I think my favorite boss battle is actually uh, Lingering Wild or Terra, and my favorite track is uh, Rage Awakened. My favorite Persona track and boss battle. My favorite Persona boss battle, I think, honestly, honestly, uh, Maroki, <laughs> and my favorite Persona track. I feel bad for giving like the same answer twice, but it's probably throw away your mask. All right, I'm back. Now let's get back to those questions. Uh, cool guy Mav asked me, uh, "What is my most wanted death battle?" Um, the answer used to be George Jorno. Whatever it is, it's. I think it still has a really cool connection. And I would really enjoy for them to use the track I made for it. But lately, I don't think I have an answer for this. Just because the debate around that matchup is very, very toxic. And I know <laughs> I don't want to put that on the researchers at all. Thanos Quack asked me three questions. Opinions on so many versus shows. I don't watch a whole lot of any verses, but from what I've seen, I think Flat Zone is my favorite album. Uh, 
got me into music. I've already answered that question. Um, my favorite music making software. Uh, there's two two ones I use. Uh, for notation, I use Finale, uh, which I wouldn't. I'd say very good. And for uh, for the actual process of making music, I use Ableton Live 10, which is just awesome. So. Yeah, I wouldn't use programs I didn't really like. Alright, all uh, good names taken. Ask me. Character you want the most in Death Puddle that hasn't appeared yet. Quite honestly. This is a weird answer for a lot, but I think just honestly. Them exploring like like Travis Touchdown would be really cool. Uh, thing for them to do. I, know, I wouldn't care who he fights. I would hope for Jack Kamen over Scott Pilgrim, but I'd be fine with either of them. So yeah, I guess my answer is Travis Dustin. Uh, let's see. I believe. Yes, Sans the Skeleton asked me uh, what made me become a Satanist. Uh, While well, sitting up here, after I took a shit one day in the toilet and he said to me, Hey, uh, I'm having a party down here. Do uh, you want to join? And I said, Okay. But I went to a pretty cool dude. So, uh, yeah. I just partied with him. And it was, it was kind of hit it off. Alright, Princely. I'm um, really good friends with this dude. Uh, asked me three questions. Uh, would you let Makoto run you over with Johanna? No. I'm a dom, not a sub. What is included in the reality? I don't know. I think you know. I think you need to ask a different Ben. And uh, how stupid do you think the idea of some dude making the DD robot of this and they cancel their first fight? I mean, the guy has to be a total loser, right? No, I don't think that guy's a loser. I think that guy's just doing his best. And it's not his fault the file got corrupted. I'm a new in the motto. He must suck, though. I wrote me three questions. Uh, one of them I already answered. Uh, I also won a death battle. Uh, my favorite death battle is T. Right now. It's Falcon on Cage still, I think. I could make a top 10, but I wouldn't be able to do it off the top of my head. But that's for sure, I think, still my favorite. And uh, do you plan to listen to instrumental versions of any of your songs? I'd say... maybe? It depends on the song. Because some of them I don't have the files anymore. But anything, I think, after... Raiden vs. Juby, I could release instrumentals for. If they weren't already instrumentals, like, I could release Tyrant's Instruction, or, uh, or actually Raiden vs. Juby. Bowser asked me, uh, what's 9 plus 10? I have no goddamn clue. William Maya asked me, do you prefer apple juice or orange juice? I can't drink orange juice. <laughs> I'm allergic to orange citrus, so by default, I have to say apple juice. Uh, Trade to go asked me, what is my favorite track made by me? Uh, right now, it changes like daily, but right now, I think I'm really impartial to. Tyrants of Destruction. And I honestly think it's one of my better tracks I've ever released. Because I put in a lot of work into it. And I just, there's just a lot of stuff that I really like. How it turned out in that. So yeah, it changes like bi weekly. But <laughs> that's like my favorite track. Made by me right now. Okay, here it is. Final question. For the user, Humble Morgana. 
Are you secretly working with Yates on something? Maybe. <laughs> uh, keep an eye out. Uh, and he, then they say, you can't answer that. And I guess talk about it. So you'll wait for one minute and 27 seconds. So let's get a timer. Set it to 27 seconds. One minute. Okay, so like, here's the thing about Xenoblade, it's really good, but I suck at it, so I really had, for both my new game plus and my original playthrough, I had the game on easy mode, don't judge me, I was mainly playing in fifth story, I'm not very good at it, I'm not very good at the game, and don't judge me, but in my first playthrough. I barely ever switched off Shulk as the main character. Because I didn't realize you could switch. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure there was a tutorial about it too, but like, I just never really bothered. And I remember, because I've been watching Jim Connery's playthrough of it, and he switched out like Charlotte or something, and I was like, what the fuck, you can do that? <laughs> and then from, from then on, I just had dumb bam <laughs> the party waiting the entire time. But yeah, it's probably one of the best RPG stories I've ever experienced in my life. Uh Dan Bam's probably my favorite character in the game. And I'd say even at the dollars it is well worth your time. And there are three seconds left on my timer. Okay. That was that was one minute and twenty seven seconds. And that is the QA. So thank you guys all for subscribing and the whatnot. I really appreciate what you guys are doing. And uh, if you could subscribe some more so that I can reach a thousand, that'd be really cool because then I could like actually make money off this. <laughs> so yeah, thanks guys so much. And I'll see you when I see you.